Today's scripture reading is from Luke chapter 2, verses 1 through 7. Listen for God's word. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged, and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in the bands of cloth and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Today's scripture and diorama tell the story of Mary and Joseph and Jesus. Like any good birth story, there's a little bit of drama, like the mother who almost doesn't make it in time to the hospital and has to deliver a baby in the back of the car, or the father who faints when they cut the cord. Mary and Joseph journey about 80 miles from Nazareth to Bethlehem for a government census. It was about a week's long trip of hard traveling and surely against doctor's orders, but there wasn't any room when they arrived. Years ago, David and I took a trip to Hawaii and we stayed at hotels and bed and breakfasts and after a long flight and another long drive, we arrived at one of the bed and breakfasts on the big island. We had come from the East Coast and we were ready to rest and had been a long journey, but they had mixed up our reservation. There was no room. What were we going to do? We were on an island in the middle of the Pacific Ocean and everything was booked. We prepared to camp in our rental car, but then the owner called in a favor and we ended up with a roof over our heads. Now, certainly these were very different circumstances from Mary and Joseph, but I remember that sinking feeling that I had when I wasn't sure where we were going to sleep whenever I ponder what Mary went through at the end of her pregnancy. She gave birth in a room where the animals were kept because there was no other place to stay. This is how it all begins. The birth story of Jesus, the one who would set the biggest table for the world and be the most welcoming to the weary, finds no initial hospitality, writes John Pavlovitz. So who are the weary travelers around you who are so hoping that someone will make room for them? In what ways do you feel like you are an outsider? Check in today with your feelings of loneliness, especially in the midst of pandemic and the changes you have had to make this year. And take comfort in the child who arrives in minimal surroundings, but who will grow to provide a place of abundant belonging for all who seek him. Let us pray. God of welcome, the world is weary this year with too much sickness and too much sadness and too much rancor. Open wide your arms and embrace us in whatever circumstances we find ourselves this Christmas. And may we make a home with you. Amen.